this is going to be a quick video showing you how to set up this generic flash cart of a Nintendo DS that you can get off AliExpress and eBay for around three bucks. So what I'm going to do is um, head over to the computer now and show you where to get the firmware files for it. The R4 card that came out back in the day, it can only support up to 2GB SD cards. So if your SD card is up to 8GB, you can partition it to only use 2GB and it should work fine in this. But I have not tested that, so I'm not sure, as I already have a 2 gigabyte SD card. So what you're going to do is, you're going to put the SD card into your computer, and you're going to go to where your SD card is located. You're going to click on it and go to Format, and you're going to make sure you format it to FAT. Not FAT32, EXFAT, or NTFS, as these formats are not supported with this old flash card. So once you've gone ahead and formatted it to FAT, you're going to click on this zip file and download it. Once the zip has been downloaded, you're going to search for it on your computer. I type it in zip. You're going to go ahead and open that. You're going to copy all these files. You're going to go back to your SD card and you're going to drag them in here, which I have already done. Once you have done this, you are going to create a folder on the SD card called ROM. ROMs. Then you're going to go ahead and open this up. And you can now close the zip file. You can minimize the web browser for now. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your downloaded DS ROMs. I already own every single one of these games. As I'm a big fan of Spongebob and the Need for Speed games. So I actually own physical copies of these games. Um what you're going to do now is you're going to you're going to um before you highlight these you're going to actually open up NDS trim tool Tokyo trim tool open up this hold on and what this is going to do is trim your rom files to save space as you can see it says 32 32 64 because the chip inside the actual DS game is 32 megabytes the actual ROM chip it doesn't actually occupy the whole entire storage of that chip so as you see the game is 32 megabytes because when you rip the game off the Nintendo DS cartridge it rips the whole entire ROM chip which is either 32 64 16 megabytes 64 and so on and what this does is removes all the extra data that is not actually present in the actual ROM file. So what you're going to do is go ahead and you're going to click trim. And as you can see we saved 107 megabytes. Just over 107 megabytes. So you're going to so when we're working with only 2 gigabytes of storage the trimming tool is a must if you want to fit the most ROMs you possibly can on your SD card. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the ROMs folder. Then you're going to drag the ROMs that have been trimmed into the ROMs folder. As you can see, this may take a little while because we're working with a slower 2GB SD card. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, I put the SD card back into the R4 card and I'm going to turn all my DS now. As you can see, it boots into the R4 card. Now I'm going to choose a game to test. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, this is my favorite part of the game, the legal. Oh yeah, the legal part. As you can see, the game boots up and load plays fine. So if you have any other comments, please leave them down in the description below.